For part three of our demonstration on template customization, we will now take a more advanced look at how to modify the drawing template so we can create linked property notes that will link back to the part or assembly that is inserted into the drawing. Now to do this, you first need to build a dummy part or assembly that has the custom properties already set up the way that you like. Refer back to, to video number one on how we created a part and, uh, and created custom properties and stored those in our default part template. Here is an example of a part, just a, a simple dumb rectangle that I extruded using my default part template and it already has description, part number, material, weight, and drawn by properties. We would like these property values to be pulled into the drawing when we make a, a drawing using uh, this part or any part that, that has these same properties. So I've just named this part dummy and all we're going to do now is create a new drawing using the template that we just created in the previous video. And all we need to do here is drop in just one view of that part. That's all that's necessary. Because this view is simply representing a placeholder that is going to tell the drawing what kind of custom properties that are available to us to enter into the drawing sheet. Now, we need to go into the sheet format mode, so I'll right click in the drawing sheet and choose edit sheet format. Now I'll zero in on the particular area of the title block that I'm interested in. And here I've got a note that's just titled description, but it's just a dumb text note. It's not linked to anything. So I'm going to just uh, double click on that and delete the text that's there. What I want to do now is an important step, but you need to look in the, cust in the uh, um, uh, property manager and look for the icon that's titled link to property. When I choose link to property, I now get a dialog that lets me choose what I want to link to current document, model in view specified in sheet properties, or component to which the annotation is attached. Now a lot of folks get confused over this dialog. Really uh, for purposes of setting up a, a title block, you're going to use either this first or the third property. The first option is chosen if you want to link to properties in the current drawing document. The second option is used if you want to link to properties in the model that's shown in this drawing, i.e. the part or assembly that's shown, and that's what we want here. So when I choose this option, Model in View Specified in Sheet Properties, and when I drop down the list of properties, you'll now see the description, drawn by, material, and part number properties. Those are the custom properties that we set up in our part file, and now we can link to them. So I'll choose the description property and hit OK. Notice that SOLIDWORKS now creates a symbolic variable for that description property, $PRPSheet, colon, quote, description, quote. This means insert the description property value from the model that is shown in this sheet. And my placeholder value for that property was just XXXX, so it's now linking to that value. That's very important. If we were to go back and change the property value in the part, this will automatically update on the drawing. We can do the same thing with the part number, drawing number, drawn by, etc. So let's add some additional notes. I'll grab my annotation tool from the annotation toolbar and let's insert a note for drawn by. I'll just click and add some text here, use my link to property, model in view, and choose the drawn by property and hit OK. You may need to resize the text, change the font, move it around, position it as you need. And notice as you hover over this note, it shows the symbolic value of the property that it's linking back to. Let's do the same thing for the weight property. Use the link to property option, model in view. I choose the weight property, hit OK. And then just move that around and place it as I need to. We might want to put in a, a, a note for the part number. Once again, I use the link option, model in view, part number, OK. And finally, if I scroll over a little ways, I have a field where I can enter my material. There's already a note here that just has some dumb text in there. We'll use the link option and enter the material.
Now these are all properties that are linking back to the part that is used in this drawing. There are some additional properties that you may want to link to that are document specific. As an example, let's just create a note and I'll show you what some of these properties might be. If I go to the link to properties option, you'll see that I have some SolidWorks custom properties like the author, comments, configuration name, file name, file folder, saved by date, and so forth. So any of those kind of properties that you want to enter into your drawing sheet as well, just create a note and link back to those properties. Now once you're satisfied with the setup of the drawing sheet, I like to fit my view and I always want to remember to right click and choose Edit Sheet. Now we want to save this as a template, so we don't want the template to actually have any drawing views in it, but remember we needed to place this drawing view just as a dummy. Well as a last step, I'm just going to delete that drawing view. The notes go away, but the placeholders for those notes are still there even though they're not visible, so don't worry about that. Finally, just choose File, Save As, and under the Save As type, Save As a Drawing Template. And I'm just going to overwrite my ANSI inch template that I've made in, in uh, demonstration number two. Once I save that, it asks me if I want to replace it. I'll say yes, that's just fine, and OK. And now I've successfully created my drawing template. So anytime I drop a part or assembly, if it has custom properties for description, drawn by, material, etc., those will automatically populate into my drawing.